Hi, I'm Maddox. You know me, right? I'm gonna make a video about Toby. But first, I gotta introduce to you. He's my neighbor friend, and his name is Tegan. Stand up. Hello. <laughs> so, okay, so my friend Tegan is gonna help me make a video about the remake. So we should set up tracks, shall we? Yes. Okay, I'll totally tell you what to do and where to set them, okay? Okay. We're gonna find Toby. Get those friends. Here, here, please. Yeah. I'll tell you where to stop, okay? Okay. Oh, there it is. There's Toby right there. Yay, Toby. Wanna look at it? Yes. He's so much better in real life. <laughs> like the wooden one? Yeah. Okay, let's set up tracks. Okay. I'm gonna get some train tracks from a storage room. There's some train tracks. Am I good? Yeah, you're good. That's a lot of train tracks. Yes, I know it is a lot of train tracks. Well, let's build them. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll know soon enough. I could help you. Okay. Even, you know, you could take the red ramp if you want. I mean, the block. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Alright. So, I don't know. I when we have to. I don't know how you do this, though. It's kind of easy. Do you have all the episodes done in memory? Some at first. But I'm gonna make more video step season one right now i am and it's a and toby the tram mention is the season one i didn't see much in season in like any other seasons so just let me know if i'm doing something wrong okay and uh, this will go here uh, Oh, Tegan, how's the track going? Pretty good. Pretty good? Huh? Well, that looks very terrible. Let me show you how we do it. I'm sorry, how we do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, my friend Tegan is new to this wooden train stuff right now. Hope you'll get used to this. I better teach him about those tracks. He's new to this. He really done terrible. <laughs> he really done terrible. Are you okay, Keegan? Yeah. Did I hurt your feelings? No, I'm fine. Oh. Uh, you're doing fine, I guess. Aren't you distracted by that silly song? <laughs> are you? Yes. You are? So that's why you're working bad? <laughs> I'll shut this off then. <laughs> Yo! Get back to work. Okay. Sorry, Maddox. It's fine. <laughs> Let's get back to work. You did pretty good at those tracks. <laughs> did I do good 
this time? <laughs> um, yes, you did, I guess. Toby is a tram engine. He has cow catchers and side plates and doesn't look like a steam engine at all. He takes freight cars from farms and villages to the main line and is cheerful to everyone he meets. He has a coach called Henrietta, who has seen better days. It's not fair at all, she grumbles, remembering that she used to be full, and nine cars would rattle behind her. Now there are only three or four. For the now there are only three or four, for the farms and factories send their goods mostly by truck. Toby is always careful. The cars, buses, and trucks often have accidents. Toby hasn't had an accident for years, but the buses are crowded and Henrietta is empty. He hasn't had an accident. <laughs> a lady. A lady and a stout gentleman stood on Toby's platform. He was, of course, Sir Topham Hatt, but Toby didn't know this yet. Come on, Grandfather, cried the children. Do look at this engine. That's a tram engine, Stephen, said Sir Topham Hatt. Is it electric? asked Bridget. Ooh, hissed Toby. Shh, said her brother. You've offended him. But trams are electric, aren't they? They are mostly, but this is a steam tram. May we go in it, Grandfather, please? Stop, said Sir Topham Hatt to the conductor. They all scrambled into Henrietta. Hip, hip, hooray, chanted Henrietta. But Toby didn't sing. Electric indeed, electric indeed, he snorted. He was proud of being a steam train. What is your name? asked Sir Topham Hatt. Toby, sir. Thank you, Toby, for a very nice ride. Thank you, sir, said Toby. He felt better now. This gentleman, he thought, is a gentleman who knows how to speak to pensions. The children came every day for two weeks. Sometimes they rode with the conductor, sometimes in empty cars. On the last day of all, the driver invited them into his cab. All were sorry when they had to go away. And Sir Topham Hatt and his family thanked everyone. Come again soon, replied Toby. We will, we will, called the children. And they waved till Toby was out of sight. The months passed. Toby had few cars and fewer passengers. Put Toby in this house. Our last day, Toby, said his father one morning. Our last day, Toby, said his driver one morning. The manager says we must close tomorrow. That day, everyone wanted the chance of a last ride. The passengers joked and sang, but Toby and his driver wished they wouldn't. unhappily to sleep. Next morning, the shed was flung open, and old Toby woke with a start to see his driver waving a piece of paper at him. Wake up, Toby, he shouted excitedly. The mail has just arrived, and there is a letter for us from the stout gentleman. Maybe it's good news. 
Wow subscribers. <laughs> wow subscribers, that was all today. Hope you enjoyed that video. Say goodbye to my new friend Tegan. Hi. He said bye. <laughs> See ya, subscribers. Bye. <laughs> Out. <laughs> But it's no time for goodbye right now. We have one more thing to do. We're going to make a song to make my neighbor friend dance with, with that train. You're going to dance while I'm going to play a song about Toby, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let me look at Toby. Okay. Keep dancing. Chill out! Keep dancing! <laughs> Keep dancing. So it's over, okay? Yeah, it's almost over. Fortnite dance. See you subscribers.